You can empower and protect women in our community by supporting Birchway Niagara. Amanda Brayett and Tegan Ford are joining me from Birchway Niagara. But first, Tegan, the raffle is on. The raffle is indeed on, and our tickets are on sale now. They are $10 each, so they are quite affordable. This year, our goal is to raise $50,000 and completely sell out for all of our tickets. Now, we have a little cheat sheet here for the calendar. Now, if you look, we'll get a, we'll get a shot of that. Uh, I'm looking at some stuff here. Hold on one sec. $200 cash Friday, $250 cash, $100 Tim Hortons gift card. What do we got here? Two foursomes, golf experience, $150 uh, Home Depot gift card, and the $1,000 grand prize on the 30th. Is there anything else that we're missing from this, uh, this calendar? There's also an early bird prize of $300, and to be entered into the early bird, you need to get your ticket by October 14th. And uh, Amanda, November is a very special month at Birchway. Can you tell me? Yeah, November is Women Abuse Prevention Month. So it's a call for action, activism, and awareness around the issue of gender-based violence and supporting women. Um, November 25th specifically is International Day of Elimination of Violence Against Women. A mouthful, but um, what that means is we do a lot of activities throughout Southern Niagara, that's our catchment area. Uh, things like illuminating the Niagara Falls, the cupola in Port Colborn, the city of Welland Bridge. And then we also ask the council members for the municipalities that we serve to consider a proclamation for November 25th um, in honor of that day. You're proclaiming something, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Now, uh, your organization has a lot of um, uh, supports, safety planning, housing support, 24, 24 hour support, counseling, legal help, public education. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, these services are free and confidential to anybody that can use them, whether they live in our shelter or not. Uh, we do have our shelter here in Niagara Falls and our outreach services are available there as well. Uh, but we also have satellite offices, one at the Hope Centre in Welland, one in Port Cares in Port Colborn, at Bridges Community Health Centre in Fort Erie. So hopefully there's a way that anybody that needs our support can reach out. But the first step is if they're in question of where to start, just reach our confidential support line, um, call or text, and there'd be an ally on the other line to, to, to guide them through their direction. I would assume that the hardest thing to do is to actually pick up the phone, is that right? So how do you encourage people to, to do that? Part of it is education, so thank you for having us on, on uh, the air today with you. Uh, in our public education, we have a prevention and public education manager that attends any, anybody who is wanting to learn more about our services, how to support us, and just how to support their loved ones also. We try to get into schools, and um, we're starting a program coaching boys into men, so some sports teams, and just encouraging young boys to end the stereotypes that perpetuate uh, gender-based violence. So a lot of work is being done on that, but we have a lot of incredible allies in the community who are further raising awareness as well, including a small group of Speakers Bureau volunteers who will go out and act as a representative and educate others about our work as well. Now, I know we just went through the first day of fall a couple days ago, so that means winter is coming slowly but surely and you are getting ready for winter by getting purple scarfs out there? So part of the November, one of the actions people can do in, a, in the community is wear a purple scarf. Purple is often um, symbolized with the courage, and so uh, there's typically a campaign where there's a new design that comes out every year from 08. Um, but really what they're encouraging is just anybody to wear a purple scarf. You can make your own purple scarf. And what that symbolizes is that the courage of a woman alone is not enough and that you stand by those who may be experiencing abuse and support them. Now, Tegan, you're, um, you're, you're lottery basically now, right? Yes. Okay, so how do they get their tickets? There are 29 active sales locations, but I recommend that you get your ticket as soon as possible because every day some of our sales locations are selling out and closing. So check out our website for more details about where to get a, um, your raffle ticket and for up-to-date details about which locations actually have tickets still. Now it says here that draws daily at 10 a.m. Is that your responsibility to do the draws? Yes, okay. I will be pulling a ticket out of a bucket every day at 10 a.m. for the entire month and then I'll call the winner and then I'll drop their ticket back in so they can potentially win again. So Amanda, you have Tegan given all the good news. Is that right? <laughs> that's, that's her job, right? 
Tegan, Tegan is a very happy person and she does uh, a really great job at engaging people to do great things. Yes, absolutely. Now, it says here too, winning numbers will be announced on Facebook and Instagram. Plug those uh, social media channels. Absolutely. So Birchway, um, Birchway SN, but also right where your finger is, Anthony, is you'll see that this calendar, the printing is sponsored by Royal LePage, who are incredible allies of ours. So they've been sponsoring the printing of the calendars, which is 5,000 in print for the last five years. This was a, a fundraiser introduced during COVID when hosting in-person fundraising events wasn't a possibility. We had a number of community members and businesses reaching out asking how they can help. And Don Kendrick, who is a Royal LePage agent in the Ridge, Ridgeway area, um, had done this as one of her fundraisers. So we got permission to kind of blow it up and, and use it as an annual um, signature event for, for us as well. Well, after this interview, we'll go to my office and I might have a, a tent spot for you too. Amazing. Is that okay? Thank you. Ladies, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.